everybody, it's Eric, and tonight we're going to take a look at the new Super Surround Batcave by Imagine Next. It says on the box it's the biggest Batcave they've ever made. Uh, I've already built it, and I dare to say this is probably the coolest Batcave ever made by anybody. All right, let's go check this thing out. All right, so before I begin here, we have to turn down the lights. This thing is massive. I can hide behind it. But I want to turn this thing on and just show you how the lights work and how it starts up. Because that is awesome. I want to show you the bat signal, the computer screen again. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit. The speaker, the left speaker lights up. The waterfall in the back lights up. I think the light fluctuates a bit there. The armory, and by the way, oh yeah, when you switch the armory there, you can hear the bats in stereo. Very, very cool speaker there. And the jail, the jail down here. Harley, is someone gonna break you out if you turn this switch? There you go. All right, we'll get to the back computer in just a bit, but I want to show you this uh, sort of tent tarp thing. Uh, it's two sets of rods, goes in four places. Uh, you can secure it in the back, I failed to do that. But it's a beautiful image of Gotham City, clouds and the moon, and uh, the bat signal is here, and it projects very well. I do have the lights on, so even with the lights on, it's, it's doing a good job. The back computer, so this is a sticker here, and that's a sticker. Everything else is a button. Of course, we got the uh, chair that turns, and we have the bat cowl here. This figure does come with the set. We'll take a look at the figure separately. Uh-oh. And sometimes this thing just does stuff, which is really cool. All right, so when you hit a villain, let's say Joker. The Joker is a criminal mastermind with a twisted sense of humor. Okay, and if we hit the Joker again, we're gonna get a little bit of a story. And the sounds are... What does this switch do? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Time to turn the back cave into my fun house. <laughs> That's awesome. When you see a speaker light up, the sound comes from that speaker. So it is stereo. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, also on the back computer, we have sort of a, a news person. A multi-car accident is being reported on the Gotham City Freeway. Let's go live to our traffic copter. We can see what appears to be a tank crashing and even driving over cars. We're moving in for a closer look. The Joker is driving the tank. Whee! Watch out! Coming through! Someone needs to stop him. So there you go. It starts a uh, little ideas for stories. Very cool. All right, let's check in with Alfred. Starting power reset sequence. Uh oh. Power restored. That yeah. cave online. So that might reset the cave. Bat sub pressurized and ready to submerge. Uh oh, bat sub. Got it right here. Running jail scan and lockdown. Jail secure. So the jail lights lit up. You better get some rest, Master Bruce. You never know when duty will call. Very good. That wing propulsion system updated and ready for launch. And the sound was over here. Yep, coming from that side. Running that suit vault status oh. check. So the sound's coming from this area. And secure. Very cool. Starting power reset sequence. Okay, let's check out. Mr. Freeze is a scientist who was frozen after an experiment went wrong. 
Mr. Freeze is one cold-hearted criminal. Oh, lots of blue. This is not a normal storm, Master Bruce. I fear this is the work of Mr. Freeze. Batman, this is one cool place. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Ice Age. All right, Mr. Freeze. There's no oh, one he's over cooler here. than me. Okay. Alert. Alert. Uh -oh. Alert. Intruder detected. My name is Mr. Freeze. It's ice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. It's time to put a freeze on things. Ah, he froze the bat cave. Look at that. Stay cool. <laughs> ah. This is awesome. All right, let's try the Riddler. He's always good for some mischief. Uh-oh. Back this off. Intruder alert. The Riddler has been detected. Riddle time! How many bats can you put in an empty cave? Mm, one. Just one, mm -hmm. Batman. Then it's not empty. That's right. How did I know that? All right, lights are back on. Let's take a look at each level of this back cave. I removed the vehicles. Uh, so this does not rotate, but I put the bike there. Uh, some cool rocks. I don't know what this is, but it rotates. Uh, this is an elevator. It's just manual. It goes up to the third floor. Batmobile fits great here. And there is a ramp out the back of the cave. Very cool. More weapons. Uh, this disc moves like a little drawbridge. There are three jail cells. There's one in the back and uh, you can open them each individually or you can uh, do this to spring everybody. And uh, depending on which villain is activated uh, you'll get a different story. And to close them you just do that. There is a little, moving to the second floor, a little trap door. Huntress can fall in with her friend Harley. And then we have the armory. I like the little bat, the little bats there, the uh, sculpt, little extra details are cool. Love that the armory has actual lights. And there you go, when you switch things up, you get stereo bats flying through the cave. And we also have another place for some weapons. A little area you can do some play. Look in the back there. Mm-hmm, like a two-faced coin. Is that what that is? Okay, very cool. Uh, all right, well, moving to the third floor. Can we have the speakers? We have the back computer and this chair. It's very cool, very big. And you can put the cowl there. There is, like, some extra something going on back there, but I'm not sure what that is for. Maybe more weapon storage. But uh, that's super cool. And again, the back computer itself is gorgeous, beautiful. I love the images of all the villains. We already covered the tarp, the little tent thing. Very, very cool. And uh, you do have a staircase. There you go. And a waterfall that's always lit. Got some more bats as we work our way to sort of like the uh, helipad. Uh, for the bat wing, and there is a shooter, and you can move this shooter and put it in different places. It does come with four projectiles and a place to store them. So, very beautiful bat cave, lots of features, lots of love, lots of detail. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at this bat cave. Uh, there's the little uh, tent, I'll call it. With the, I put the uh, tent on the little tabs, there's three tabs. I think it's 4C batteries, don't quote me on that. There are these little pegs back here. I think the characters can hold on to it like they're scaling the back of the back cave. Here's the power button. Middle is uh, like low sound and far right is the loudest, but it's not that loud. So this is that little table I was talking about. Not sure if weapons go in there, but it's there. 
And uh, there's the elevator, but not much more than that going on back here. Uh, the back cave does fold up, which is really cool. It kind of, this uh, part folds into that part. So it does uh, have the ability to be a little bit smaller. There's the helipad. And again, more of those pegs that the characters can be uh, scaling the back of the back cave, kind of sneaking in. And uh, yeah, a lot more bat sculpts. I like it. And uh, here is the ramp I was talking about where the Batmobile can go into the Batcave. This is sort of the first Batcave where this Batmobile can actually enter and sit. So, yeah, I mean, it's long overdue. There's the jail cells again. There's three, so that's what the back looks like. So very cool. This is a great playset. Let's take a look at those figures. All right, before we get to those figures, I figured I'd... Uh, Fold it up a little bit for you. So, uh, yeah, it folds up a little bit. It helps. All right, this set comes with five great figures. Let's take a look. We have a Robin here. I don't know which Robin this is. Is he Tim Drake? He's a soft goods cape. Uh, big gloves, looks like um, hockey gloves or something. Let me know in the comments, Tim Drake or somebody else? I'm having a moment, having a moment. But very nice Robin, I like him, looks really good. Uh, Joker, kind of like a Jared Leto style, I don't know, in my opinion, kind of gangsterish with the hair slicked back, uh, I probably would need more tattoos to be a true Jared Leto Joker, but maybe that's not cool with the kiddos and Mattel, you know, but I like them, I like the design of the face, very cool, Catwoman, I like the design of her face too, she looks like she's up to no good, very, very cool little smirk there, a little paint schmeeze on the goggles, Oh, well, you know, that happens. A little paint schmeeze. But she is one of the best uh, cat wo woman, women that we have received. Very cool. And uh, Mr. Freeze. I love this Mr. Freeze. Could be the best Mr. Freeze Imagine X has done yet. He is very, very mean looking. I don't believe that head glows in the dark. I like his suit. I like the colors on the suit. Very good. Kind of reminds me uh, from the Arkham games, this this guy here. Got that kind of look. And uh, Batman uh, with the Bruce Wayne head. Now, we've received a few of these. I think there's one in the new Blind Bag series. Maybe one of the vehicles or two packs. Uh, but this one's all black with the yellow. Kind of the Michael Keaton style. Soft goods cape there. Very cool. And, uh, yeah, it comes with the cowl. There's the cowl there. Made of a flexible material, a little like, uh, I don't know what that is. I guess, you know, a parachute or something. And uh, yeah, let's put the, all right. So, uh, you know, I don't know. It looks a little like, you know, samurai-ish or something. But uh, I dig it, you know. I think that looks pretty cool. Very tactical suit. See his eyes through there. Yeah, very nice. So this is cool. And, and, and really, you're just going to put the cowl on that little table uh, next to his back computer to complete the look, like he's chilling after a, you know, a tough mission and he's, uh, you know, hacking those computers and spying on people. All right, so what do you guys think about the new Super Surround Sound Batcave from Imagine Next? I think it's amazing, it's incredible, it's the best Batcave ever made, period. What's your favorite Batcave? Is there one I'm missing? Let me know in the comments. Tell me, are you guys picking this thing up? Uh, I bought this for my little guy. I was going to wait until Christmas, but I got to tell you, I don't know if I can wait uh, until Christmas. I think we have to find an excuse to bust this thing out. Maybe some good grades, you know, completing uh, some online schooling. We're going to find a reason to play with this new Batcave probably before Christmas. All right, everybody be good to each other. Have a great day, a great night. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and as always, I will see you on the new...